Money. Money. It's coming. It's coming. To me. To me. Now. Name it and claim it is the name of the twisted theology that is taking over TikTok. This teaching is nothing new with the likes of Joel Osteen and Benny Hinn being some of its main proponents. Today I'm going to react to some of these name it and claim it teachers on TikTok. I'm going to dig into the roots of where they get this twisted theology from and I'm going to dig into biblical truth and how we can understand this from God's perspective. Get ready and buckle up. Okay, so you might still be asking yourself, Isaac, what is name it and claim it theology? What is this all about? You saw a little bit of it in the preview, but it's basically this. I am going to name what I want and I'm going to claim it because God has it ready for me. He's got all my blessings ready for me. All I need to do is ask and everything I ask will be given to me. Where do they get this kind of crooked, weird thinking? Well, they get it from John 15, 7, or at least that's what I've heard some people reference. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Many unfortunately see this verse as a guarantee that God will give them exactly what they want whenever they ask for it. As long as we really, really want it. Is this true? Well, of course it is. Why do you say that, prosperity preacher Pete? Well, look at me, for instance. I ask God for many blessings, money, and success, and all sorts of things, and he's all granted them to me, including a private jet. I honestly think that has a lot less to do with the legitimacy of name it and claim it theology, and a lot more to do with the multitudes you con into giving you millions of dollars because of this garbage that you're peddling. How dare you? Boom. I speak over your life. That you're about to go to a season from not enough to more than enough. More than enough. So let me declare it over your life. Okay. That money is coming. Money is coming. Say it with me. Money. Money. It's coming. It's coming. To me. To me. Now. Later. I didn't make Five that minutes. up. My bad. I've messed it up. We about to declare I'll that. I'll try it again. Money. Money. Come it's coming to, to me. me now. Five months from now. Oh, crap. Every resource. <laughs> Everything you Every need. Every money. All the money. Every idea you need to be funded. Money. May money, money. find you. Money. May resources money. find you. Wait. May wealth find you. Wait, my bad, guys. I just got a notification here. A million dollars. I quit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I didn't I didn't get any money, unfortunately. Maybe I gotta keep watching here. See if see if it works you may increase, increase. find you everything money. you need concerning the dollar may it the come unto you yeah. in this season say it with me one more time okay. money money come, come to me come to me now that's what it is yeah let's look at john 15 again if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you notice here that it says you must abide in god you must abide in jesus if that's not happening if that's not going on then he will not grant you whatever you wish so we need to understand what are the implications of Im abiding in jesus abiding in god well something that comes to mind is surrendering our will that is very different from God just giving us whatever we want. No, we need to surrender our desires and our will to him first. The idea of naming something and claiming that thing is much more easily derived from the new age teaching of manifestation than from the biblical idea of prayer. If you need further evidence, let's go to 1 John 5, 14. And this is the confidence that we have towards him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. That one verse right there just blew up all of name it and claim it theology. It has to be according to God's will. So here's the game changer. When we pray, we want our desires and our will to line up with God's. But ultimately, the Bible says that our ways are different from God's ways and our thoughts are different than his thoughts. And even though that we are entering this process of transformation where we're growing closer and closer to Jesus, we're still going to pray for things that aren't exactly in line with what God wants for us and his plan and his purposes. And when that happens, those prayers go unanswered, at least in the way that we would want them. But what we need to understand is that God is working underneath the surface for his glory and our eternal good. Do you want to hang out with me and other believers from across the world on a video call twice a month? Do you want to be part of a fun, thoughtful, and encouraging Discord group with other believers? Do you want to support my mission of helping people follow Jesus daily? If you answered yes to any of those questions, I'd ask you to consider becoming a patron. It would be a huge blessing to my ministry and it would be amazing to have you. Link in description. Your checking account available balances. 
$12,617,290.56. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it on your taxes, otherwise you're going to get arrested. Does she really think that she's going to get $12 million? Does she really think that's going to happen? I just can't imagine that. Like, she's like, you know this is the type of girl that's going to, like, do this thing. And then, like, a week from now, she's going to find, like, a $10 bill in her jacket pocket. She's like, it worked. It worked. It worked. It's coming. The money's coming. It's like, no, 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 no. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, sister. Why do people love name it and claim it theology? Why is it such a popular, fast-spreading ideology that you can simply ask for something and it will come to you? Whether that's name it and claim it, whether that's manifestation, whatever it maybe why is that so popular well it's because we love certain things that aren't god we love money for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil it is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs this should not be your primary focus and the fact that you are always asking god for give me money give me money give me a million dollars it's not even like oh god provide for my needs it's like i want so much money that i won't even know what to do with it's like i think your priorities are out of whack we put so much attention on the gift that we lose sight of the giver god is not a vending machine my friend hmm what do i want today a lot of things look good here okay let me let me go for this let me go for this a relationship come on now come on now why isn't this work why isn't this working okay okay let me try something else here a million dollars nothing's coming out why isn't this working? I mean my blessing. Type it in again. Give me a million dollars. <laughs> Nothing's coming out still. Nothing's coming out. Give it to me. Too often I catch myself thinking that I know better than God. That if I pray for something, that if it doesn't happen, then God's somehow off base. But I need to understand that God knows so much better than we do. He has a purpose. He has a plan. He is timing. So even though something might not happen now or in the way that we want it, things are working out for his glory and our ultimate good and we can trust him in that yes it takes faith but it's also a means by which god focuses our eyes back on the giver and not just on the gift because ultimately if we look at the gospel we see jesus as the ultimate gift like the gift of salvation of new life of transformation that is what we should put our hope in, not the blessings and the money and anything that we want God to give us. No, put our faith in Jesus. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to catch up with me on a personal level, head on over to my Instagram at It's Isaac David because I post on there quite a bit about some more personal stuff so you can check it out. I'd love to see you over there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. God bless.